How's that taste? Look at that bad boy. Thought you were gonna have a fight. I think you still are. Ooh, Billy. All right, guys. Come here. Hi, best friend. Hello, best friend. Hit a skunk. Good morning! It is Sunday. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. And um, because we've been in the fields, um, I didn't get Thanksgiving-y things kind of figured out in my kitchen, which is typical for Thanksgiving in October. So I did run into town and buy a pie, because that's what I do. And yeah, we finished black beans last night. I think you guys were with me when I we were doing the last few rounds. And I also collected a few. So these are just black beans. You can use them in chili or what did we use them for last year? We used them in chili and stew. There's a ton of recipes. Um, so they're very popular. We love them. And not only do we love eating them, we actually love growing them. They're a lot nicer bean to grow than the white beans. He's very happy with the yield. We don't know for sure what it is yet. We have to take the last load to town this morning. that taste? Raw. Not bad. <laughs> is that oh. turnip, Mark? There is some turnip in here. It's a little bit of everything. A little gritty. Oh, look at that. Or is it a radish? Well, it's brassicas, so it could be a radish, it could be a turnip, it could be something. Daikon radish. Should we cook that for Thanksgiving dinner No, I don't tonight? think it's on my top 10 <laughs> list. <laughs> what, eight inches? Mm -hmm. To be honest, I really don't feel like going around and resetting them all anymore. I'm not gonna argue if you're happy with the depth like there. It's not pulling top for... And we're a good 10 inches wide. What was, how wide did you want the rope? 10. And that'll do twins? Yeah, if we wanted to do twins, it'll do twins. Make it, it is making a nice trip. Good morning. It's Thanksgiving Monday and uh, I'm just pulling into Belinda's place right now. I had to uh, give her an emergency call last night. I checked my... I knew I was gonna be really really short on milk replacer this weekend but I also knew today was a holiday and sure enough I checked last night right before dark and they were almost out so I, um, I asked her if she had any. She goes, I don't have any either. So, so she called up someone she knows. We were able to nab a bag. I have a big order coming tomorrow, but I need I need something to, to keep these lambs going on that machine. So she totally saved my life this morning. Oh, 
Billy. Hmm? Hey, Billy. Billy. Are they laying eggs now? Oh, yeah. Really? Big time. How many did they lay? I don't want to see a trick. Do they all lay one a day? No, they do not lay one a day. Look at this. I feel like they laid in the morning, maybe, actually. Because there was like eight in there last night. Not right now. Yeah, built that. No big deal. See this renovation. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yeah, I see that it's downhill now. Oh, that's pretty thick of cable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I tighten her up a bit more, maybe. That's really well done. And it even loops down there. Yeah, so I figured I might as well use that for a head rail that space. This side's going to end right here until the silo comes down. Just This corner gets wet. Yeah. It's hard to seal a barn around the silo. Oh, yeah. I know it's got one knows that. Because this wasn't probably likely meant, it was probably more likely meant for feeding and stuff. Yeah, this was outdoor feed yard actually originally. Yeah. So it was silo, feed room, and then a covered manger. And right. this was all outside. And that right. was the original bank barn right. back there. And then they closed it in. So it's nice. It's all graded well. Like if it ever floods, at it's least. It's going to go the right way. Yeah. It's going outside. A little there cozy in here, but it'll be fine for Where's a few your days. black one? I don't know. Now you're scaring me. Where is my black one? I don't see him. He's laying down behind this one. Is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah. So those are the Hi. ones I got from Bill and... Uh... Mine have a happy face on the back? Yep. They're happy bums. They're happy bums. Well, I was a little late. They uh, they ran it out of milk, uh, <clears throat> so they probably had water for the last hour, which they'll be okay. They're old enough now, thank goodness, that they can uh, handle it. The one thing I have to watch though is that they don't gorge on the milk and then bloat. I never get these off. You guys, don't drink too much. You're gonna get a bellyache. Ooh, sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it's a suck like all the other number threes. So what I was doing there was giving those bottle babies a clostridial, it's, it's an anti, it's a 
It's an antitoxin actually. And why I give them that is because we pull those lambs off at about 24 hours from mum and the mums have been vaccinated for it to pass through their milk and into the babies but because i pull them off early i just don't want the risk of them not getting enough immunity from some of these um some of these cluster deal bugs i usually give this uh before i like introduce creep for the first time and then right before i'm gonna wean them so they're about three weeks apart and I didn't have any, so that was my bad. Uh, luckily, they've been really good lambs, and at least I got this dose into them. So that should hold them through, hopefully, uh, right into the, the lamb finishing bar now, I would think. Mark is working on strip tilling. Um, he's had a heck of a time. Yesterday, we had points break, and uh, he went back out one more time last night, like nine o'clock after supper, and... Um, and right he put it down went like i don't know very far and it broke another point so i guess he got up early enough this morning fixed it he's back out there and brett is out there with him i think they're going to try and look at this other the the demo and see if they can get that fixed and they're going to just work away at that i guess today jess and jess and mark Hit a skunk. You've been working out that for a while, Jess. Yeah. She's matted. Looks like you got pretty clean then. I'm halfway done. That one, the, the only reason it got matted was because that fertilizer tube was doing funky stuff because it was dragging behind it. Mm. Not as clean as the Orthman strip. No. But Is that because of the much just more stuff on it? I don't know. bad boy um yeah I don't really know what to say mom told me to vlog and I forgot till now and it's been like two hours eh, maybe not quite I don't know it's been a while uh so far since I've taken over it's been fairly smooth we've had a lot of uh fixing to do this morning but so far I'm okay um but yeah, so we're just strip tilling this, and then in the spring, we'll plant corn in those rows. So, yeah. <laughs> just listen to my podcast. I still have a really bad headache. I've had a bad headache all day. I don't know what's up with that, but... The trees are really pretty, though. Do you see those? Do you see that? It's quite nice. Yeah, I thought so. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to my podcast. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, yesterday, you didn't miss much with me, really. I went into the house and made everybody supper. Mark was out till probably, I don't even know, 10 or so, and uh, got all our strip tilling done, so it's done after a few more points breaking, and oh my goodness, I was watching him coming in and out of the laneway last night, and I'm like, oh boy. But we got it done and strip tilling is done that means our corn prep is done for next year which is a kind of nice place to be at uh, on another note we are back in the barn today I have to weigh my market lambs so that side last week we sorted the males and the females and these are my replacements so I'm gonna push them back just a bit uh, there's not many of them at all maybe 20 and then I'll weigh uh, these guys up and put them in the front and then they will get uh, taken to the market tomorrow evening so that is the plan. So I'm just gonna set up and uh, get the show on the road. Okay, I'm just plugging in the Gallagher and it just tracks all my data from today and from birth, all the stuff, all the weight so far that I've had. I should have 
a weaning weight, a weight from last week, and their birth weight on here. So it just tracks tracks their daily gain. Uh, I don't expect many will be ready, but there was a handful close last week. Um, and I did ship four uh, for that store. So there was like 400 pounders that, that are already out of this out of this group that would have probably made probably would have made it this week um, so the goal for this group is 105 pounds plus um, and we'll see how many there is I'm gonna guess there might be I'm hoping there'll be at least 10 or I, it's barely worth the drive I might have to wait till next week but praying that I will have at least 10 ready but we will see I'm just going to set up my Gallagher. All I'm going to put is I'm going to date the session, name the session, um, and then as my default, I will put that I'm shipping them. And the only ones that I'm going to scan are the ones that are 105 pounds or over. It just makes the process go a bit quicker. We'll see how good they go over the scale. Um, last week, Carissa had to get in there to move them in. I'm hoping this week, because they've been through it already for a week, I'm hoping they'll be even that much better, but we will see. Oh, close. It does suck when they're like one pound away or two pounds away. Okie dokie, that was fast. I think they just, they went in so good for being really their third time over. But I think it's because I had them over last week. They just remember. Uh, so that's, that's win number one. Uh, win number two, we had over 10, so we had 12 ready. Uh, 12 is not really ideal for a full load. If I knew I only had 12, I probably should have shipped them. I should have probably kept my use that I shipped last week and put them in the front of the trailer and these guys at the back, but it's okay. It's not too far of a trip. That's why I can almost kind of justify it. Uh, I would keep these till next week, but my top weights are pretty heavy. So I have to, I have to ship them. Um, I just want to go over the stats with you. So, you know, kind of, I like doing this actually. I, do, I like doing it for my benefit. Um, but for, for anyone that's just curious as to how big these lambs are when I, when I ship them to market, um, so, like I said, the minimum, the minimum I always aim for is 105 pounds, and uh, I, so that was this group, there was 12 lambs total, 105 was the min, 120 was the max, I thought I had one, I thought I had one bigger than that, but that's okay, so an average weight of this group was 112 pounds, so they're already kind of at the top end of the weight category that I kind of aim for. The one thing I will, um, criticize this system on. Uh, these June lambs were bred in January and I usually always use cedars for January groups and I didn't and I really really noticed it with starting with this group. Um, the group is just so spread out and I don't like it at lambing time. Well I kind of like it at lambing time because it's not as busy. Um, but I definitely don't like it on this end because I would rather more ready at the same time and uh, and I just it's just so spread out so I'm gonna have a big I'm gonna have quite a load next week that would have been ready um, but these guys were just too heavy and that's what I mean like these like taking 10 this week and then next week I could take I don't know 20 so if I had the 10 and the 20 it'd be 30 and it'd be a perfect load so and that's all I know it doesn't mean anything to you guys but the freight per animal on that trailer makes a huge difference whether I have 20 on the trailer or 10 on the trailer um, because that's less animals that I'm spreading that cost of uh, vehicle maintenance and insurance and licensing and fuel and my time and all the things. So um, yes, my auction barn is close, which is good, 
but it's I do my, one of my goals is efficiencies and uh, economically it would be better if there was more ready at the same time so that is the one advantage of synchronizing the ewes at breeding time which uh, this group that was born just now um, I will see that in about four months I'm gonna be I'm hoping I can go look at this video and go I was right I have 30 ready this week instead of 10 but we will see all right guys let's clean you up and uh tear all this stuff down that's one thing about the handling system over here is i'm always setting it up and tearing it down after every uh weigh group because i'm right in the middle alley so i can't bring in any bales which i have to do still this afternoon so uh yeah if you're if you're getting into sheep and you're thinking about handling system think about a spot in your barn that's easy to easy to set up and just leave all right guys So right now, Mark and Jess are working on transferring some wheat just to open up some bins for corn. We like the corn uh, to be able to be hooked up to our whole elevation system and we're just sitting on some wheat we still haven't sold yet. So we're gonna put the, that in the bins um, that aren't really hooked up to the system that need, you know, they need, it needs augered in. And so there's a little bit of double handling some stuff but we just ran into some logistics backlogs I guess you could say so that's what they've been working in so literally filling wagons emptying wagons filling wagons emptying wagons and I'm pretty sure by supper time tonight they're gonna be like <laughs> that is the most boring job in the world so uh, sheep farm is looking pretty pretty good today compared to uh, maybe some monotonous jobs that they're doing uh, but Anyway, it's a beautiful day and they get to be outside. So there's, there's advantages to every job, even the bad ones. <laughs> Boy, hello. <laughs> I was trying to spy on you guys. Thought you were gonna have a fight. I think you still are. Ooh, Billy. Billy, Billy's kind of feeling his oats. <gasps> what? What's he gonna do? Billy. There's Big Daddy. Hey, Big Daddy. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Is it almost that time, boys? Hey, almost that time? getting too old for this? Mm, you're a month old already. You're a month old already, hey? And you're still my friend. How are you doing? You're fogging up my glasses. You're so sweet. 
Best friend. Being my best friend.